Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus reading for you guys. You have the highest viewership this week. I do wanna take a second and remind everybody that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. Um, just take what resonates for you guys. Leave the rest for someone else. Um, you can alternatively check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate better. Keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that is not at all unusual in a general reading. All right. Spirit, can you give me the energy of the sign of Cancer? Cancer. Of the sign of cancer. Wow. Energy of the sign of cancer. Thank you, spirit. All right, cancer, you are starting out with the queen of swords in the reverse. You have the hierophant in the reverse. And coming out together is the Page of Wands reversed and the Knight of Swords. So it looks like you guys may have received some truthful but bad news. I do feel like you could be angry about this or this could have been something to do with deception. There could have been an argument as well. And you now are no longer talking with somebody. I feel like somebody told you something, Cancer, that was bad news. And it caused you to basically say, enough is enough. And I do see an ending here. And I do see it's either based in deception or you're just very angry about this. I see you terminating some kind of a connection. Let's see who's in your energy. Show me who is in Cancer's energy, please. Yeah, I, I'm getting a, a lot of very disrupted energy. Um, I'm hearing messy. This is messy. Something has happened here that has really, I feel like, pissed you off, Cancer. All right, King of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The High Priestess in the reverse, Scorpio. And the Two of Swords, yeah. So something came out. Somebody revealed a secret or revealed a secret about this person. Because this person, um, either they were keeping secrets and it got exposed or they exposed a secret. I do see this person taking action towards you to expose a secret, telling a truth. And with the Two of Swords, they're now at a crossroads in their life. They're trying to be non-emotional about it, but there's a decision they have to make. And I feel like they're trying to leave the emotions out of it. They're kind of going back and forth. Um, and this could have been about telling you something further as well with this uh, high priestess in reverse. They may be trying to decide, are they going to tell you something additional? Or this could have already happened depending on your timeline. Let's see the energy between the two of you. The Ten of Pentacles, you've known this person for a very long time. Um, I do feel like for most of you, um, there is somebody, family, close friends, somebody is giving advice in this card and you're not appreciating the advice either. You may feel that this person is being deceptive. Um, I am seeing that there's a long-term relationship here though. For some of you, this is about money. Let's see um, what's affecting this connection. Justice in reverse. There it is. Yeah, so you've terminated a relationship of some sort. It could even be friendship. I, I can't tell definitively. We'll clarify. But you've, you've terminated something because of an injustice that was done. And you're pissed off about this. You're angry about it. It was bad news, but somebody told you told you a truthful but painful secret. 
And I do feel like this person went back and forth. If it's the person in your energy, they went back and forth about whether or not to tell you. Let's see your outcome. Could be dealing with a Libra. All right, so we have the world. Yeah, you're up in arms and the five of swords. So yeah, you're 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 upset with this person and you're you're fight in fight mode. I see you in fight mode. You don't even care who gets hurt at this point. You're like ready to just take off heads. You're angry and you're in fight mode. The person in your energy is realizing that there is something here that is wrapping up. There's something that's wrapping up and for something new to begin. All right, so we have the two of wands as underlying energy, um, which tells me, again, that there's a decision being made. I don't feel like it's on your side. I feel like it's on the other person, but I, I'm also seeing plans. Somebody may be planning for travel, or you could just be planning what, you know, your life, how you want to unfold your life, but there's plans being made. So let's, um, let's clarify here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah, ten of ten of uh, coins. You could be dealing with a mother, a baby mama, um, your mother, mother-in-law, perhaps. But if you are, this person is very negative. This person is not very positive. This is somebody that is pissing you off. You've known them a long time. We have this ten of coins again. This could be about finances or money. But this person is giving you advice. And I feel like the advice that they're giving you is low vibrational. It's not, it's not high vibrational. And it, um, versus leading to abundance, it's leading to loss. So this person might be in a very poverty mindset. It could be family, extended family. All right, we have judgment. And we have the two of wands. Yeah, you made a judgment call to end something here. I feel like you might be moving um, in a new direction for some of you. Again, I'm seeing possibility of travel. But there was a judgment call that was made here to end something. All right, we have the sun. Page of Cups, Four of Wands reversed, and the Page of Wands. Yeah, you're realizing here, you've had a realization. I feel like you have new love, and I feel like you're, ha you, you're seeing things more clearly now. Somebody gave you information that made you see things clearly and I feel like this is, this, uh, it was a message. It was a message. And at first you saw it as bad news. It's upset you. It's made you angry. But now you might even be feeling that it was the best thing for them to tell you this. I think that initially it, it just was a shocking thing for you, Cancer. So I do see that you are, because of whatever this news was, I feel like you're ending a connection and you're moving towards new love that incidentally is going to be good news and it's going to make you very happy. But I still see that between you and this person, like you're in fight mode and you're not, you're not, um, it's because of whatever was said to you, whatever was told to you. And it is the truth, Cancer. Um, you may have wondered, was the person telling you, telling you the truth? They are. It is truthful. The King of Swords or the uh, Knight of Swords does tell the truth. It can be a painful truth. It can be very brusque, but it's truthful. And I do think that it's made you see things very clearly. Perhaps about a fire sign for some of you who behaves very immaturely. But I am seeing that you're choosing to move towards new love. You have new plans in your life, and it's all based upon this judgment call to end this other connection. So let's see 
let's see this person's energy. Now, this is somebody who likes to get attention. This is somebody who is very sexual. I do feel like this uh, person has, you know, a deep attraction towards you, but they like that attention. They're kind of attention seeking. I don't want to give up their energy either. Which doesn't surprise me because this is somebody who in the past has kept secrets. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So they know that you're upset with them. They see you as their person. If there's a distance between the two of you, I feel like this person may want to travel. They're definitely going to reach out because they want to talk to you. I am seeing a rapid change here occurring with regard to communication or possibly travel. But I feel like you're not very receptive because you don't feel that this is, this connection is growing. You don't feel like there's any any growth for this connection. There's no future here. And so I do feel like while this person is identifying you as, as their person, you're definitely not on the same page. And I also feel like this person is having to reach out to you because you weren't reaching out to them. Justice. Very nice. Okay. All right. So, Eight of Cups reversed. So, some sort of secret has come out here and... It, it was an injustice. There was an injustice being done here. That is now being balanced out. This person is receiving justice for whatever they have, whatever was revealed. So if this person had secrets that were <laughs> negative or secretive in a deceptive manner, they're getting justice for it. There was injustice between the two of you, Cancer, but that's being balanced out now. It's definitely being balanced out. And this person is trying to come back into your energy. I feel like this person walked away. And now they're they're trying to come back into your energy. I can definitely see that this person needs to work on themselves. Because they don't really know what it is that they want. They're very, they have a very dissatisfied energy. Um, let's see. But they're they're getting karmic justice here. Whatever was unjust between you and this person is now balancing out. So, it could be that there were secrets uh, about them. I, I, for some of you. All right, we have the star in reverse. We have the moon in reverse. So, this person looks like they're going through a dark time. They're in a transitional stage in their life. Um, you could be dealing with another Cancer. Libra is very strong and fire signs are very strong. Aquarius is here. But what I'm seeing is that they're at a pivotal stage. They have to make a decision here. Do they do they give up? And I, I, I feel like um, I feel like this person doesn't know what to do. It's like, should I give up on this and end it or or not? And I do feel like they don't want to do that. That's like a, a dark path for them. Yeah, so they're not quite sure what to do here. I can see that. There's a sense of something ending, either a cycle between the two of you or the connection itself. I see you have ended a connection. Ah, they don't know whether or not to let you go or to hope. I see. Yeah, there's also a sense that this person has to let their guard down. They don't know how. I feel like this person is very um, somewhat immature and very um, self-serving. Let's look at the energy between the two of you. They are feeling rather hopeless and depressed about the situation right now. Five of Cups, Ace of Swords, they're definitely wanting to talk to you. There's definitely, they want to clear up some things. I do feel like they're going to reach out to you and it's going to be very sudden. Um, 
in your energy, I just feel like you've gone through so much with this person and you're now making a judgment call to end this because you want love in your life and there is new love here. So I feel like you're you're kind of looking at this person and you you have some regrets there. You're looking at the past, but you're you're wanting to move towards the future. Seven of Wands reversed, Eight of Coins. Yeah, you're working on yourself. You're working on making plans for your future. You're not you're not even focused on this person because you do feel this person treated you badly and it, it's making them feel powerless here. They're feeling like, you know, well what do I do now? It's like they don't know what to do. So it's taken their power away from them. But you know what? That's that the injustice that was between you whatever it was. Is being balanced out. So that powerless feeling that they're experiencing is part of the balancing out of that, that between the two of you. And I feel like you're working on you. You're working on you. You're working on your future plans. You know, you're being very um, cut and dried. It's like you made a judgment call and you're going to stick to it. Let's look at your outcome here. I don't know what this person did, Cancer, but I can see you you're you're fed up. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups reversed. And we have the Two of Cups reversed. So this person is coming in. They want a new beginning with you. They want to end the problems between the two of you and they want a new beginning. But what they're going to see is that you ha will have nothing to do with it. And you're ending this connection. You have had options in the past. They had options in the past. There was a lot of confusion in this connection. And now you're not confused, but you look pissed off. You look angry. You're moving towards a change. You're ending this. And I do feel like you are moving towards a, another connection here. And you're going to tell them that. So it's almost like you, you found out something about this person here that really pissed you off. There was dishonesty or something that just really upset you. But you saw it as an injustice. So this person playing games decided to wait and basically wait you out that you're going to come towards them you're gonna you're gonna come chasing after them and you didn't you didn't you decided to work on you in the process it looks like a lot of you may have found new love or at least an option for that it looks very new and you're opening your heart back up to that you're working on yourself you're acknowledging that this person didn't treat you correctly and you were fine as far as you know, just moving forward, making your own plans. But here they come traipsing back in, wanting to start stuff up with you. And I feel like you're just going to take their head off. <laughs> I do. I feel like you're just going to let them go because you've realized that while you thought finding out whatever you heard, whatever was found out, you thought it was the worst news. It's turned out to be in your best interest. And I do feel like you're you're not putting up with anything from this person. You see them very differently than you did in the past. And, you know, they want to start something up with you. But I feel like, you know, they took too long to decide. They took way too long to decide. And I feel like you're just, you're done here. You don't even see this person as an option anymore. You're You're moving in a whole new direction. Bottom of the deck is the three of coins in the reverse. That's a, a contract. There's a soul contract that looks like it's being broken here. Um, because you're just fed up. You're fed up. All right. So I'm going to pull an oracle card. We'll see what comes out for you. Yeah, you have Treasure Island. It's number nine. So you are very close to the end of a cycle. 
and this person realizes that they see something wrapping up between the two of you and they just feel helpless, but you know, maybe they should have provided clarity sooner. All right, so the essential meaning of this card is the law of attraction bringing dreams into fruition and the result of positive thinking made manifest. So it's like um, it's like abundance is appearing out of nowhere, financial as well as, as well as good fortune. All right, so the message is you've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance, and suddenly, in the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot. Because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long, hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. In all aspects of your life at this time, you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others as treasure shared multiplies like magic. Now, the relationship message says your relationship is a treasure providing even more than you need, but you may not see that right now. No matter how long you've been together, you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourselves and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. And I do believe that that is with this new person, Cancer. All right. I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. If you have resonated with this reading, hit that like button. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I'd be grateful if you do. Until I see you guys in the next reading, namaste.